Have you ever wondered why New York City looks the way it does? How did it come about that the streets go one way and the avenues go another? New York City Vibe turns the pages of a new book that explains why New York City looks the way it does. Do you ever wonder why millions walk the city streets which were born of the most courageous act of prediction in Western civilization? Enter renowned historian and author Gerard Coppell, who continues his examinations of New York City's remarkable street grid plan, which defined the urbanism of a rising city and nation. Prior to New York City having a street plan, its grid, it was a pretty disorganized place. And as the city began to grow and move northward, it was unclear if it was going to remain a disorganized place or if it was going to become organized in some way that was conducive to growth and the grid largely did that. Fascinated by the history of old New York and inspired by the events of 9-11 when various streets from years before the Trade Center construction were exposed, Gerard Coppell launches a fascinating exploration into what makes this city's design special in his must-read new book, City on a Grid, How New York Became New York. Cities that sprung up further west saw New York, saw the power that the grid was conferring to New York City, which is becoming the, the uh, wealthiest city in the country. And other cities said, huh, you know what? If this place, New York, can organize itself like this with just straight streets and straight avenues intersecting at right angles, well, hell, we can do the same thing. Country roads, farms, estates, and generations of property lines would all disappear as the grid spread throughout the island of Manhattan. Also leveled was the city's social status the wealthy, middle class, and poor were now on the same horizontal geographic level. Chelsea Dow, the Director of Communications and Programming for the Greenwich Village Society for Historical Preservation, notes that Gerard's book gives readers a better view of why the city looks the way it does. It takes a history that people may think they know about and really opens it up. It makes it personal, it makes it dynamic, and it takes a totally different angle than what you may be used to hearing. And that's really what we're about, is explaining to people what's really happening here and why uh, we relate to the city in the way that we do. It's books like City on a Grid that really celebrate that history and how we uh, relate to the city on an everyday basis. And you can't save it, you can't uh, feel any particular way about it if you don't know how we got here and why it looks the way it does. Gerard Capel's gallant observations on the constant evolution of New York City celebrates the metropolis that has never learned what it means to grow old or stale.